Today on TNT Big Show, Mamma Mia, that's a spicy a box office. Super Mario Brothers movie is setting records. All today on TNT Big Show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Michelle Lynn Tackett. And it's a day time. <laughs> Welcome to TNT Big Show. If you like our content, please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. And if you want to help with the algorithm, just watch the whole video, leave a thumbs up, comment, share it to social media, or save it to a playlist. And ladies and gentlemen, according to Variety Magazine, and guess what? A lot of times the early box office turns out a little under from what the movie actually does. Yeah. And it just keeps on beating expectations, and that's the Super Mario Brothers movie, movie which pulled in a record 204 million in five days and 146 million in three days. Wow, that's incredible! That's yeah. an amazing feat. It's yeah. one of the biggest openings ever, especially for an animated movie. But ever, it even did better than Transformers. Thank God. Yeah. Thank goodness. Now that holds Mario holds the record now. Yeah, Mario is doing incredible and the competition is doing well as well like yeah. john wick 4 held up good yeah. air with ben affleck and uh -huh. matt damon it's a pretty busy time at the box office right yeah. now and it's the easter holiday happy easter everybody yeah happy easter everybody and so they're gonna, people are going to go see the movie during this and the weather's nice so it's going to be a good time to go see the movie oh yeah this is going to be one of the biggest movies ever this might even don't laugh this movie could reach over two billion dollars if the repeat audience the holdover audience and new people go and see it. This is incredible. It got an A on CineScore. It got a 96 on Rotten Tomatoes. From fans. Yeah, from fans. Let's make that clear. From yeah. fans. Oh, yeah. This is definitely one of the biggest opening weekends for a movie ever. But the word of mouth is fantastic. That's what's going to help it hold up. And Michelle, let's also talk about worldwide box office. Three hundred and seventy-seven point two million. That's one of the best ever for an animated movie. It's number one. And Michelle and I will post the numbers of the yeah. different, you know. But oh, by the way, Michelle, is it in China yet? Oh wow, it or has Japan? It, or Japan? Wow, the box office it could reach. Unlike Michelle, this could reach two billion dollars. It and, really could. And according to Nintendo, everything they talked to Universal Domestic Distribution Chief Jim Orr said of the Super Mario brother movie success, the incredible partnership of Nintendo and Shigeru Miyamoto's iconic characters with Illumination and Chris Meldandry's unbeatable filmmaking and storytelling prowess has led to this combustible moment at the worldwide box office. Audiences of all ages and backgrounds have flocked to theaters to revel in this extraordinary big screen collaboration. And according to Deadline, further reports that 38% of the movie's weekend domestic box office stem from IMAX, DLF, motion seats, and 3D screen. Super Mario Brothers movie is IMAX's highest opening of all time for an animated feature at 21.6 million, yes. which includes 16.6 million date side record at 403 auditorium. Wow. And only one movie outdid it at IMAX, and that was some movie called Avatar Way of Water. And that wasn't by a mile either. No, by 7 million. The seven, that's shocking. That's unbelievable. Yeah. To all you dumb loser critics who trash the movie, and all you haters out there on Nintendo Life and other Sony websites, <laughs> You're lost. Yeah. You're lost. You're lost. Suck it and eat it, losers. Yeah. You're lost. Great quality entertainment still is it. And one thing, I know it may be a little sidetracking, but this pertains to the Mario movie. It is nice to see. Somebody put this up on Twitter, so it replies to our video. Yeah. It's nice to see an animated movie with zero fart jokes. Yeah. Zero. Yep. It's nice to see an animated movie for a whole family where you don't have to laugh for the old man. Yeah, yeah, I love the Sonic movie, but that yeah. one joke in there... It was the not fart, necessary. Yeah, it was... It, it was not necessary. Yeah. Even in Detective Pikachu, I didn't like it. No, no. Those just don't belong. You know, I'm sorry, they don't. 
No. You'll never see that Mr. Monkey, Mr. Hopper. Right. Never. But it's, anyway. like, it's like they're forced in there just to make yeah. uh, the dad laugh. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And dude. I'm like, there are dads out there who don't think that the only way you can get a laugh out of them is by mm-hmm. farting. Farting, exactly. This movie is going to be the start of, I think, a Nintendo empire when it comes to movies. No, it's not going to get like Marvel, thank God. Oh. But I can see at least one Nintendo movie released a year. And I hope this starts a go green effect. What do you mean, Sean? A gold green effect for kid movies. Get rid of the fossil fuel, the flatulence, the gas out of animated yeah. movies. <laughs> let's make it gold green, electricity yeah. free. Yeah, let's I mean, make it to where it's just cute little funny jokes and jokes stuff. Jokes and that, stuff, exactly. That sell the humor. Exactly. And people say they love the message of community. Friendship. Friendship. Family. Sticking together. Yeah. Family. And, and some anti-SJWs are getting on the movie because Pete outperforms Mario a lot of the time. Mario's new. He's new there. Right. This is the first time he's ever been to the Mushroom Kingdom. Right. And gee, for those of you who say you're video game fans, Super Mario Strike Smash Brothers, Mario Party, Mario 2, Mario 2, uh, Mario 3D World, yeah. Peach plays an active role in a lot of the Mario games and, now. And some of the Mario games, Mario Rabbids. Mario Rabbids. And in some of the Mario games, she's actually the best character. Best character. Exactly. So when did you guys think she was always this girl? All The only thing she could do was be a damsel in distress. Yeah. Peach has moved beyond that. Yeah. It's the 21st century. Nintendo's grown up. Why don't the rest of you incels grow up too? Exactly. But this is fantastic. Man. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy for it. Yeah. And it's going to hold up because of the word of mouth. There's already showings that are selling out during the weekdays, during the yeah. weekend, next weekend and stuff. So, wow. What a great time to be a Nintendo fan. And it's about time we had some family movies. We need movies like this. Yeah. During these dark times, we need a sweet little innocent fun movie like this that anyone can enjoy. Yep. I said, don't get me wrong. I like my thought-provoking movies. I do too. Sean and I get on to movies like Transformers and them because they're not fun. No. They're just big, clunky, and noisy. Noisy. But if you can make a movie that has a decent enough story like this, or it's not Shakespeare, but it does have a message to it, be good to each other and stuff like that, I can roll with that. Exactly. You know, there's no deep meaning or anything. It's meant to be fun. Fun. And it succeeds on that. Like I said, during these dark times and stuff, all the violence and hate, it's nice to have something that breaks through. And then also, go broke, go broke, go broke, go broke. Avatar, Way of Water. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Now Mario the movie. Y'all lose again. I mean, really, the Mario movie isn't trying to be woke. No. It's just showing Peach as a strong woman, and you guys say, well, that doesn't bother us. Well, Peach has been fighting alongside Mario since the late 80s. Late 80s, exactly. So where have you all been? Yeah. Another thing I hope this does is kick Disney into gear. They're, I'm sorry. I don't care if their movies do have more inclusivity, which I think is nice. Nice, yeah. But, unfortunately, the overall movies are just not that great. They really the not. Also, not just Disney. DreamWorks, yeah. Pixar, Illumination. It's really, this is their first movie. Since Despicable Me. Since Despicable Me. I'm sorry, but all those Minion movies were just kind of a letdown. Yeah, they were. I mean, it was a good start. Keep it up. Don't let this be the movie that start going back the old ways again. Right. Nintendo held your feet to the fire. Because I remember when Michelle and I first did a video on this movie, Miyamoto went to Elimination. They worked on it. He saw what they did. He said, you know what? It could be better. Right. He made them go that out. You know, like he does with the video games. They make them go the extra mile to get to the quality Nintendo always expects. Yep, this is just great news. And this is great for Nintendo, as you'll probably see more of their franchises hit the small and big screen. Let's not do too many, you know, stretch it thin, because that I think that would hurt. But, like, one TV show and one movie a year, I could be okay with that, you know. And, once again, everyone's like, Zelda, Zelda, no, not Zelda. I agree with Chris Pratt, who agrees with me. Make Metroid yeah. the next animated movie. Make it Metroid. Really let people get to know Samus. Samus, and, yeah. It's not a robot, uh, folks. It's a woman beneath a suit, okay? Yeah, and what an introduction to going to Metroid Prime 4. Yeah. Come on, Nintendo, make it. We all know you're going to do a Zelda one now. Hold off on that. I see. Give it a different perspective. 
Because, you know, even with Link, I love Link. But do we honestly think we're going to get something like a darker game like Xenoblade or uh, Fire Emblem or uh, even Metroid? No. It's probably going to be more on the Mario uh, side. Yeah. Make a dark movie. Yeah. Make it with Samus. Show that you guys are ready to expand. And no, it may not make the money that Mario does. But show that you're making it for Ani. Expand your yeah. horizons. Expand your audiences. I think they should go that route. That's just me. That's a good way to think. And yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing saying that either. Ladies and gentlemen, Nintendo has arrived at the movie. Yeah. Not only do they dominate the video games, the theme park world, and now it's movies. Absolutely. Nintendo has arrived, baby. This is Michelle Lynn Tackett. And have a nice day, Sony ponies. You lost again. <laughs> have a good one. Thank you all for enjoying the video, and thanks to our Patreon for supporting us. You guys helped make this video possible. And you can also join our Patreon if you want for as little as one dollar a month. You can get things like Jack's Joke of the Week, which will be up later today. You can also join our Reddit, which is TNTE Games. And you can also join our Discord, which is TNT Big Show 3665. And that's not all. We have an Instagram, we have TikTok, and we have a WordPress blog. Thank you all for supporting us so much, and have a wonderful day.